When using the Alcometer 456 dry film thickness gauge to measure the thickness of a coating on smooth substrates, a quick and simple method of calibrating the gauge is the zero or single point calibration method. To undertake a zero calibration you will need an Alcometer 456 DFT gauge and a probe if using a separate gauge and ideally an uncoated sample of the substrate you'll be measuring on. An uncoated sample will always result in a more accurate calibration and should be done whenever possible. However, if one's not available, a smooth Alcometer Zero plate, either ferrous or non-ferrous depending on your sample's material, can be used. Don't forget, if you're working on both ferrous and non-ferrous materials, then you should calibrate on samples of both. The Alcometer 456 is an intelligent gauge, so once the gauge has been set up to the zero calibration method, it will guide you through the calibration process one step at a time. To select the zero calibration method, press the CAL soft key, highlight CAL method using the up and down soft keys, and press the select soft key. Then highlight and select zero, followed by the back soft key. The zero calibration icon will now be displayed next to the CAL method menu item. To calibrate the Alcometer 456, simply select the Calibrate menu item and follow the on-screen prompts. The Alcometer 456 will ask you to place the probe onto the uncoated substrate or zero plate. Hold the probe like a pen and place down evenly at a 90 degree angle to the surface. The Alcometer 456 will adjust the calibration automatically and you're ready to start measuring. For a more accurate method of calibrating the Alcometer 456 on smooth substrates, you can always select the smooth calibration method. Click the link on screen to see how it's done. Or, for more information and training on the Alcometer 456 coating thickness gauge, click on one of the links on screen or visit alcometer.com. And please, don't forget to subscribe to the Alcometer channel to be notified of any new videos.